Welcome, Welcome back. back, it's Valerie and it's Stephanie. Can you believe we're already in the month of May? Maybe, you haven't been looking at your calendar. Yes I have, I'm just so excited because there's a really special day coming up. Ooh, a special day, I love special days. But wait a minute, what is this special day? Oh no, I'm gonna let you figure this out on your own. Maybe if you look around, you'll figure it out. I'm still not sure. You know what? I have a great idea. I'm going to call my mom because she always helps me figure out what is this special no, day no, coming no. up. Let's not call your mom. But, I mean, she would help me figure it out. Okay, how about this? How about we call some of our Elevate friends to help us figure out what this special day is? They always help us. Let's go! Hey kids, today you're going to learn about a very special mom in the Bible. Maybe you've heard of her. Her name is Mary. She was the mother of Jesus Christ. When Mary found out she was pregnant with Jesus, she was scared and confused. Like most moms. But after she spoke to the angel Gabriel and visited her cousin Elizabeth, she was so excited to be the mother of Jesus. She was so, so, so happy that she sang a song of praise to God for giving her such a great gift. She celebrated God's promises because she trusted his directions. Mary was faithful to God and she always took her family to worship year after year. Mary was a good mother, but not perfect. Mary actually lost Jesus one time. She was so worried and finally found him safely in his father, God, God's house, the temple. Even though Mary wasn't perfect, Jesus was. And he loved and respected his parents, just like the Bible teaches us to. Mary never stopped loving, supporting, and caring for Jesus. She was with him in the, in the beginning and the end of his life. Jesus loved his mother. Even on the cross before he died, he made sure Mary was provided for. He asked John to take care of her. Mary was a very special mom. Mother's Day from Elevate Kids. Steph, now do you know what day it is? Happy Mother's Day! Oh, how could I forget? I knew all along. Yeah, right. Anyways, God specifically chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus. Now, God knew Mary wasn't perfect, but he knew that she was going to do her very best to support, care, and love all her children, including Jesus. God chose the best mom for Jesus, and Mary was so glad to be Jesus' mother. I believe that God chose the best mom for each of us. Hey kids, why don't you go grab your Bibles and pause this video. We'll be right here so we can read this verse together. I want you to flip to the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 25 to 28. Here God describes the role of a godly woman. She puts on strength and honor as if they were her clothes. She can laugh at the days that are coming. She speaks wisely. She teaches faithfully. She watches over family matters. She is busy all the time. Her children stand up and call her blessed. Now, I wouldn't be here today without my mom. She's always provided for me, loved me, cared for me, and she's kind of my best friend. Now, God teaches us something else in the Bible. If you go to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1-3, through 3, it says, Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on earth. God made this a commandment. Even when we're older and bigger, we have to honor our mother and our father. So kids, when mom asks us to go pick up our toys, to go do our homework and to go wash the dishes, we have to do that. God expects us to do it. And God expects us to do it without being grumpy. Our moms have so many roles in our lives. They cook for us, they clean for us, they care for us when we're sick, and they love us so much. But most importantly, they teach us about God. How about this? Let's call in our friend Jalen so she can help close us off in prayer and pray for all of the amazing women in our lives. Can someone call me? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? God is so good. And today, since it's such a special day, we're learning that our moms are not the only ones to teach us. Our grandmas and aunts, they teach us too. You know, I have a grandma that was really special in my heart, so I'm really glad that we're learning about it now. 
With that being said, let's start in prayer. God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for teaching us about the, the moms in the Bible. God, you're amazing. You are with them as you're with us. God, we thank you for our moms, and not just them, but our grandmas, our aunts, and our stepmoms, God. You're a powerful God, and you gave us this special day to celebrate mothers and women everywhere. And not just Mother's Day, but every day. We love you. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys, come with me. We're going to do a very special arts and crafts. Happy Mother's Day. All right, guys, make sure your moms are not around, okay? We're going to make something really special for them. All right, for this craft, all you're going to need is two sheets of paper. You're going to need something to color with, some scissors, and some glue. What we're going to be making, we're going to be making this really cute pop-up flower vase for our moms today. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the flowers. Now the flowers are really easy to make and I'm just going to take a marker to start drawing some out on my paper. I'm going to make a circle and then for the petals, we want to do some curved lines, but we want to make sure the curved lines are not touching. So that way when we cut them out, it's easier for us to flip them up. So I'm going to make about four or five flowers. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and color them in. I'm just going to use markers, but you guys can use any art materials that you have at home. Once you're done coloring it in, you're going to very carefully cut them all out. All right, kids. Once we finish cutting out all our flowers, what we're going to do, we're going to actually fold the petals up. So that way when we glue them down, the petals will be popped up. So we're going to take our flowers and we're just going to fold in the petals. And we're going to do that for all the flowers that we've done. All right, once we've folded all the petals up, now we're going to glue them to our paper. All right, so we're only gonna put glue right in the center where the circle is. We're not gonna put glue on the petals. So I'm only gonna put a dot of glue. You don't need a lot, just a dot. And it doesn't matter where you glue them as long as they're kind of on the top of your paper. All right, now we're gonna make the vase that's gonna go underneath and then we'll do the stems going into the vase. Now for the vase, you can just do a simple rectangle or you can create an actual shape for your vase. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. All right, now we're gonna add a sweet message inside the vase for our moms. Now I'm gonna write, thank God you're my mom, but you can write whatever you want on your vase. You're gonna go ahead and color in your vase. Now you can decide how you wanna do your vase. I'm just gonna do different colors. All right, now we're gonna add the stems. Now we're just gonna take green or whatever color you want, and we're going to draw a line going down and it's gonna go inside our vase, but we're just gonna stop right at the top. And we're gonna do that for all our flowers. Now it doesn't have to be a straight line, you can curve them, like this one's gonna curve around. 
And if you want, you can add some little leaves to your stems or you can do little hearts. I did hearts on this one. And if you want, you can decorate around, maybe add little polka dots. All right, we're all done. Okay, this is what the finished product looks like and I can't wait for you guys to give it to your moms on Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Now you're gonna go worship with Jalen. Happy Mother's Day! It's Jalen. And it's Isa. Hope you're having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, and night. It's a very special day today. We're gonna be celebrating Mother's Day. I'm so excited! Now, today is really special. God gave us a lot of moms, but women everywhere are celebrated today. And we thank God for that. So we're gonna save these flowers for our moms. Let's put them right here. Now today, we're going to be doing the song by Bethel. We raise a hallelujah. So how do we start? We're gonna start by taking our left hand like this and our right hand horizontally. And we're gonna make our way up to our left fist. And once we get up here, we're gonna turn and we're gonna make our left hand go down to our elbow. And we're gonna switch and start again. Make our way up three, and switch four, and one, make your way two, down. Three, you do this four. twice. Okay, so what's next? After that, we're gonna start with the lyrics. I raise a hallelujah. So you're gonna start from the left. You're gonna go up, three, four, and to the right, you're gonna go up again. It's like howling at the moon, but don't <laughs> howl though. So then you're gonna roll your arms from the right to the left. You're gonna point your fingers toward each other and you're gonna make a box and make your way down. Down, 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 down. Do we do it again? Yes, we're gonna raise a hallelujah again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take your right hand here, left hand here, and spin. Whoa! <laughs> then we're gonna raise a hallelujah again. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. You're gonna take your pointer fingers, put your left on top of your right, Whoa. from the right to the left, and you're gonna sweep on your right arm with your left hand. We go down, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Do we do it again? Yes, one last time, raise a hallelujah. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna make some wings with your hands like this. Doosh. Straight in your right arm, straight in your left arm, and spin, and with your right arm, point to yourself. All right, guys, now we're ready for the chorus. You see these bad boys? We're gonna take them and we're gonna point them to our chest. Then we're gonna take those same hands and we're gonna push them out, all right? Now from there, we're going to take our hands and put them together like this. And we're going to go up and down in the middle of the storm. Take our hands, put them to the side. Louder and louder. We keep our hands. We do this four times. Watch carefully. One, two, three, four. And then from there, we're gonna take our right hand, point it, left hand, point it, and then we're gonna take it, put it behind your ears, and then shout it forward. You're gonna hear our praises roar. Now from here, it goes up from the ashes, right? Mm -hmm. Take your hand, start with the right, and then swing to the left. And then put them down again. We're gonna do this another four times. One, two, three, four. He has risen. Now we're gonna take our hands to our chest. Right hand, left hand, up, down, right, left, and then the crown. Cause he is our king. Ready to do it? Yes. Let's yeah. get started. One, two. And right, we're getting closer and closer, guys. Once we start, we're gonna start with raise a hallelujah. Ready, and. I raise a hallelujah. Now go to the right. We're gonna roll our hands. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Down again. Oh, left. Switch. Keep going down, 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 down. Raise a hallelujah. Go to the right. One, two, 
two, ready, go! Sing, roll! One, two, three, four! Hear my praises roll! Whoop. Up. One, two, three, four! Two, right? The king is alive! Three, four, too much? Uh, well, I mean, God is good and amazing, so I can understand how you get so excited. <laughs> All right, let's go quick with to Valerie and Stephanie. Come on. Thank you for tuning in. We love our moms and we love you. We'll see you guys next week. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, Hi Mom. Hi. We love you. Let's eat those.